like this part when I'm getting ready to shoot a deer. It's like all my practicing adds up. And I'm like, all right, just do what you practice. And then when those pins get on him, I'm always like, ah, screw it. <laughs> and squeeze the trigger in it. Oh man. Dude, that buck, I, I know I hit him back. I'm, but he's gotta be dead. here a few nights ago and had some had some really good luck. Uh, no, nothing uh, came by that was uh, she was able to shoot, but we saw a lot of movement. So it's a little bit warmer today, but uh, we're here in here early and we're gonna uh, set it out till dark. So we uh, we got a raccoon over here in the tree picking acorns, so that's gonna entertain us for a while. Hopefully we can put an arrow in something tonight.
come now over here in this in this field. He grazed out with three other two other bucks, and uh, one was a little fork of horn. There was another that might have been a shooter. He was a smaller A point, and then this guy. Um, I I'm not even sure exactly what he is. I think he's a big A, possibly a big nine, but he is definitely a shooter for for this part of Missouri. And uh, it's September 22nd, I think. 21st, it's September 22nd, and I feel the buck tag. Um, I'm pretty sure he, I heard him crash right here in these woods. Uh, the shot was at about 44 yards after I ranged it, uh, and he's quartering away pretty hard, so I tucked it right back in behind his rib. I think, uh, I think it's a good shot. Yeah, he went right over the fence when I hit him, and then he went down, you know, right in these woods here. I don't know what's down in there, but, I mean, I heard him, I heard him hit the ground. Well, he seems to kind of come together, but he has tall, tall tines. I mean, he's a shooter for sure. All right, let's, let's get down and go check the spot where I shot him at. But we're going to wait to go in after him until Tim gets here. Just got down from the tree stand. It is 7:15. It's been about 30 minutes since I shot. We're gonna go over here and just check for blood. But uh, we think we heard him crash, so I can't wait to get over here and see what this looks like. just starting to get dark we got down came over here found blood followed it for about 20 yards in there it's through some really thick stuff but it's caked on the leaves so uh, I really think he's dead uh, it's gonna be a kind of an intense track job but I don't think we have too far to go because we heard him crash but uh, blood looks good it's uh, it's not lung blood I don't think but I, I it's good blood so I'm excited right now we're just waiting on Tim uh, he, uh, he's the one who's gave, got us in here on this property and has kept up with all these deer and, and just done a great job. We're going to wait for him for the recovery so he gets to see what, what buck it is. And uh, hey, we'll take a night like this any night. So when we find him, we'll fire up the camera again and get some lights on him and let you see him. Did, did, did he run back down in there where they came from? Yeah, he went straight. Yeah, it was in the thick stuff. It took me a minute, yeah. though. He didn't take obvious openings. He's, I mean, there's like an opening this way and kind of a little trail that way. And he's like, I'm finding blood like on the bottom sides of the cedars. And he's just, yeah, let's go. That's either V8 or that big nine. I can't tell from that picture. <laughs> oh my god! Right, oh. That's oh him. That's V8. Goodness. No, that's not V8. That's the big nine. 
Holy crap, Evan! <laughs> oh, man. oh man! He is a toad! <laughs> oh! Look at that! Get down here behind me, buddy. Oh my god. Dave, I cannot. Oh my god. Oh, he's so tangled up. Oh god. I knew he crashed right in here. Oh my word. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, those G2s are that. long. Look at the twos on. Let me see your light, Dave. Look at that hole. <sighs> Look at that. Right there. That's. <laughs> That's, man, okay, ear six inches. Almost Probably 11. Inches. Big bases. Oh my goodness. Look at how big he is. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you about that rage, dude? Yeah, they're mean. <laughs> That's mean. Oh. He's gonna grow mid 130s to 140. I knew he's a big mainframe eight, though. What a stud. Look at the body on that thing. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, Tim. Man, I'm, I'm in too. I'm in debt to you, man. Oh, yeah. man <laughs> I wouldn't be gosh. happy if I killed myself. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at that main view just He's not bad brow times. I mean they're there. <laughs> Alright, I gotta call Telecheck by 10 p.m. Sometimes hunting isn't about hunting at all, and I especially think that was true for this hunt. With my wife behind the camera and my, and my friends there for the recovery, and the history that uh, Tim had had with this deer, it was all just a true privilege, and the size of, of the deer was just a bonus. And I just hope that I can continue to experience nature through these hunts with my family and friends and just enjoy the true privilege of being in the outdoors and being a hunter.